So I'm currently in the process of creating a Hoover compatibility module for the Magento module MSD gift card. And I won't explain the whole process right now. I just want to wa show you a tool I use to help me style the Hoover version of a plugin. So the templates for the Hoover version. Um, I'm currently working on the product detail page here. I'm almost done actually. Uh, please excuse these crappy pictures. They're just test images. So it actually, you know, I converted the JavaScript and everything. Um, but what I still need to style are these price inputs because here you can see how it looks in Luma. Uh, it's a bit nicer here. So um, yeah, the tool that I use for this is a little browser plugin called Windy right here. It's from Beyond Code. It costs 50 bucks, but it's so worth it because what it can do is it can automatically convert any existing styles on a website to Tailwind which is perfect for creating compatibility modules. So let's see, uh, if I activate this module here, wait, wait, before I do that, let me just show you the template. So this is the remaining bit of my template that I haven't styled yet. Uh, the original module rendered the prices client side with knockout. I replaced that with a for each loop to render server side. I left this comments, these knockout comments in any way, these uh, virtual elements. They don't do anything anymore, but it makes it easier for me to find the place in the original template and compare so they don't hurt. I might take them out, it doesn't really matter. And here you can see the label and the price value and the input field. And uh, it still uses the original selectors from the original module with less, right? So I want to replace those with Tailwind right now. So to do that, let me open the Luma version of the site. Oh wait, I had this right here. Okay, activate the plugin. And now if I hover over the DOM, you can see the section that I'm hovering over is highlighted with a red border. This is the section that I'm currently working on. So now I'll click and it's copying something. Let's have a look. So what I've got here is a empty scratch file. I paste it in and you can see it just copied that section of the DOM, all the HTML. The only thing it did was it automatically added all the Tailwind utility classes to match the styles of the original site. And if something couldn't be transverted, trans, um, converted automatically, then it also added styles for this, right? If there's no matching Tailwind declaration in a default Tailwind setup for that. So um, yeah, let me just copy this here into my template now. So yep, that's the class I want to replace. And let me also copy the style declaration here. I might as well add that too. Yeah, there's no existing style on the label. So let's have a look how this looks now. Reload. There we go. Okay, very nice. Uh, what else? So we have class text gray here. Actually, I don't want that because at the moment I've got this nice effect that the color changes to white when I hover. And if I were to set the gray text color on the span, that wouldn't work anymore. So I might as well omit that. So now let's take care of the input field. I'll copy that and put this right here. And now There we go. I'm done. So this plugin is super handy. I can really recommend it. And that's all I've got right now. Happy coding.